it. I have a student who asked me about these 30, 60, 90 triangles, and I could see how that could be a little difficult. Uh, so let's do this one. The way they ask these things goes like this. So let's say the hypotenuse is eight on this uh, 30, 60, 90 triangle, and then this angle here is 30. So the hypotenuse is eight, and they're asking for the area of this triangle. What is very important to, to note is, is this uh, ratio, and it goes like this, with a 30, 60, 90 triangle. One, square root of three, two. That's the ratio. And uh, obviously, the hypotenuse is always the longest side, right? And why is that? Because this is 90 degrees, and if uh, this one right here is 30 degrees, and this is 90 degrees, that's 120 degrees, so there's 60 degrees left, okay? Because the triangle, all the angles have to be uh, add up to 180. So here we go. Here's the 30, 60, 90 triangle. The 90 degrees is the widest angle, and that opposes the hypotenuse. So the hypotenuse has to be the largest uh, side. And then the smallest side has to oppose the smallest angle. So the smallest side would have to oppose this 30 degree angle. So we'll call that side X. Then uh, that's the smallest size. Then the middle size, the only one that's left, uh, opposes the middle of the widest angles. Uh, sorry, that grammar's a little off. Okay, which would be 60 degrees. So the way it works, if you go back and look at this ratio, imagine it like this. So the one is the X, and then the middle side would be X times the square root of three. And then the longest side, which is the hypotenuse, would be two times x. So uh, that's the ratios, okay? And it makes sense because if you look at the Pythagorean theorem of a squared plus b squared equals c squared, if you have one squared plus square root of three squared, and that would equal uh, c squared, so you'd have one plus the square root of three squared is three equals c squared, you'd have four equals c squared, so c would equal two. Uh, this is kind of, you know, showing you why uh, that works, okay? Uh, so we don't need that right now. So this is the ratio. Uh, you really got to know this for geometry. Anyway, back to uh, this particular triangle. You see that hypotenuse is 8. So they only give you one side, and that's the, in this case it's the hypotenuse, and they only give you one angle, which is 30, and then actually they give you the, tr the, uh, the right angle, so then you can calculate that last angle at 60. So anyway, we go back to this ratio. The hypotenuse is there. That's 8, right? So you can say basically 8 equals 2x, right? Uh, so then x equals 4. So if you go back here, that's 4, right? Because uh, x equals 4. Uh, and it makes sense. 4 is half of 8, <laughs> right? Uh, and then what's that middle angle? Uh, it's x times the square root of 3. And then we calculated x to be 4, so that's 4 times the square root of 3. So then that middle angle is 4 times the square root of 3. So the three sides are 4, we go up here, 4 square root of 3 and 8. And that follows the ratio of 1 square root of 3 and 2, right? Because uh, if, you, if you double the smallest side, you get the hypotenuse. So that's, that, that's those ratios. And then this middle one is the smallest side times the square root of three. All right, so now you want to look at, the, this is very important, the 60 degrees will oppose the middle side in terms of length. So that would be, uh, in this case, it would be that four square root of three. And then the smallest side here is four. Now it asks for the area. Uh, so the area of the triangle is one half, times the height, times the base, all right? Um, and the reason why that one half times the height and the base, if this was a full-on rectangle like that, it would just be the height times the base, right? Um, but it's not, it's, it's a triangle and that's half of that. So that's why, by the way, uh, the area of a triangle is half times the, the height times the base. Uh, all right, so half, uh, and then the height is 4, and the base is 4 times the square root of 3. So then, boom, boom, that would simplify to 2, three, uh, and then 2 times...
times 4 is 8 times the square root of 3. There you go. That's the answer. All right, friends. You want to get better at geometry? Do this one right here. This guy. Do this equation right here, and you're going to kick butt. Just watch.